What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome back to the Triple Threat Podcast. My name is Zach Gaming Dad Twenty Five. As always, these are my co-hosts, Josh UK. Say what's up to everybody, bro. What's going on, everybody? And live, say what's up to everybody, bro. Yes, sir. How we doing, my guys? And we got a long list of stuff to talk about today, but y'all already know the vibes. First, we got to start with the game. Guess who was really fun last week? So we're gonna run that back. If y'all not familiar on how it works, we pick each other's. We pick a card for each other, and then we got to ask questions, yes or no questions, to try and guess which cards we get. I'm picking for Ant. Ant's picking for Josh, and Josh is picking for me. Who wants to ask the first question? Uh, go ahead. It's on you, Gaming Dad. On me? Okay, say less. Um, is my card six foot six and above? Yeah, it is. Is my player current, like active currently? No. Okay. That's a good question. Is my player a center? Yes. Mm. Let's go. We in there. <clears throat> Is my player a center? Yes. Okay. I like that. Answer. I like that hesitation. Is my player from a Friday drop? Uh, no. That's a good question. Um, is my player a diamond or higher? No. Is my player, is he a power forward primary, center, secondary? Yes. Okay. Okay. Is my player a diamond or higher? Yes. <laughs> uh, does my player have a secondary position? No. Is my player a diamond? Yes. I think I know who it is actually, Loki. Oh, <laughs> my my next my next answer might be a guess. Shit. Alright. Is my player six foot eight or taller? Um no. Is my player from a Tuesday drop? No. Is my player Cliff Robinson? No. Oh, all right. I, I was trying. I was trying to to to. He got to in his bag real quick. Hmm. Is my player white? <laughs> nah. Damn, that would have narrowed it down. <laughs> that would have. Is my player an NBA Series 1 player? No. All right. Damn. All right. Uh, okay, this is starting to get... This is going to be tough. Okay. Got you. Is my player... Was my mm. player on a Friday drop? Yes. Sorry, my fault. Is my player Kenny Anderson? Damn, that's crazy. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that, man? Damn. Um, so it's not for real. For real, for real? Yeah, nah. Sorry, big dog. You know what? You guys been guessing? I'm going to take a guess right here. Is my player Bill Cartwright? No. Damn. <clears throat> Is my player Al Harrington? No. Is my player from either of the greatest era sets? From either of the greatest era? No. a good question all right i gotta get in the duffy right here 
Uh, is my player seven foot or taller? Yes. <clears throat> um. Okay, I got a couple options here. Is my player Sean Kemp? Yep. Damn. Uh, that's back to back. I won back to back weeks, baby. Back to back with it. Oh man, that's tough. All right, let's see. It's my player, Isaiah Ryder. Nope. Is my player Matumbo? No. Damn. Is my player from a Tuesday drop? Yeah. All right, I had to make sure it wasn't a series one. Type shit, type shit. Um, is my player an amethyst? No. You just throwing up straight bricks. Uh, I really am. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm down to two people. Now three. Shoot your shot, big dog. Is my player Isaiah Thomas? Nope. <laughs> Damn, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, bro, who the hell did you pick for me? Does my player have... Hold on. Higher than a 73 ball? No. Can my player play small forward? Indeed. I feel like you got him, so I'm just going to take a shot in the dark right here. I'm going to go JaVale McGee. No. Damn. There's still two. Yo, I'm bricking right now. <laughs> my player, Jason Richardson. It is Jay Rich. All right, and your player was Emerald Yao Ming. <laughs> Bro, I've been hovering over this season one rewards, and I'm like, I ain't even gonna <laughs> click on this bullshit because I know he wouldn't do that. <laughs> nah, I'm different. That's I'll do it, up, man. All right, all right. Now I, I know the vibe. Now, yeah, I know yeah, what yeah, the, yeah. now I know what kind right. of heat to come with. I'm next ready week. for next week. <laughs> it's all good. I'm about to pick a gold say less. series one card you ain't never even know was in the <laughs> league. Oh, me, bro. <laughs> all right. Let's start talking about some of this content. Uh, there was a lot happening this week, starting with the Dunktober event. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of stuff to complain about. I thought it was overall W. Uh, what are you guys' takes on it? I think it was a W event. I didn't get anything out of it, but I mean, I feel like in an event like that, you kind of go into it not expecting much. Like you expect the bare minimum, and if you get something cool, like good, cool. You know, I saw people getting pink diamonds and stuff. I think the best I got was like a ruby gems of the game player, which don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It was cool getting a pack after every single win. I mean, I think it's good content, it's just, it wasn't going to really upgrade your team unless you got absolutely blessed. Yeah, yeah I think, but I think... Oh, go, go ahead. Ed. My fault. My fault, big dog. I didn't mean it like that, OG. Um, I think going off what Josh said, though, it was a W event. You know what I mean? But he's right. As far as upgrading your team, can't really do much with it. But it, it was cool, though. I'm not going to complain about it. It was definitely cool. So, two things. I think not every event has to be an over-the-top event, you know? Yeah. They, they could just give us some shit to do sometimes, which is cool with me. And two, I didn't even pull no players in the packs, which once again was cool with me because that means all my shit was sellable. I was pulling shoes and, and playbooks and badges. That All that shit was sellable, so that was cool with me. All right, so King of the Court. If y'all are watching this podcast, y'all probably see my video about King of the Court. 
it's fuck 2K support over here. <laughs> but th- there's been a lot going on with King of the Court outside of my issues. More specifically, I feel like it's mostly the rewards. Uh, Splash got hold again. Who did he pull? Tony Parker again, right? No, he didn't pull yeah, him he again. Got, he got, but he got Tony Parker after somebody else already got Tony Parker. Mm-hmm. Which leads us to think that, like, there's a limited pool of these Opals that are available in this pack. What are we, four weeks in, right? Yep. Yeah. And there's 81 Opals, and we've seen three different ones. Like, what's the chances? Like, I'm not the best at math, but one in 81, that's just slightly more than 1% chance that he pulls a duplicate card. It's, that's insane. That's insane. But at the end of the day, it's like the million MC is still, a uh, uh, million VC is still, you know, crazy good in itself. But these opals are straight ass. I, I'm curious to see what they do with King of the Court for season two because that like the rewards right now, not trying to sound like a hater, they don't really move me. Like if you're, unless you win it, like cool. If you're getting top 1% for the diamond, there's a good chance you don't need a, like, it's not going to do a whole lot for you because the top 1% of players usually already have full diamond lineups. So it's yeah. like, unless you're winning, King of the Court is a sweat fest for really nothing. I I think they definitely need to work, rework the rewards. Maybe, like, if you're top 1%, you get the rewards for top 1, top 50 and top 10 or something like that oh that'd be cool like but even you get then, the diamond amethyst and the ruby or something like that like it doesn't feel rewarding for real i, I would like to say next season they could move it up to a pink diamond for like the top one percent but then what do you do like do you can't you don't move the opal up to dark matter so maybe what do they get two opals or or what I do you go think from the there? million vc separates it enough but I would like to see like a million VC and at least like 250,000 MT because what Splash has won two weeks in a row, and I'm pretty sure that's two weeks in a row, he didn't pull shit with the million VC. Yep. So it's yeah. like, give them MT or something that they could use in the game because VC, that's a you know luck thing. You don't need luck to get a guaranteed 250,000 MT. That's not even a crazy amount of MT. But like, you know... It's not like Splash needs any help, but at the same time, it is, you know, I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel you. <laughs> and I think when they announce the rewards for that King of the Court next season, it's going to set the tone for the season. Mm-hmm. Um, if the rewards stay the same, that might mean they might still kind of rock out with, like, mostly pink diamonds for season two. But those rewards go up to pink diamonds. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a storm brewing for season two. Yeah, it is. Facts. All right, so the park event for the Ami option pack, which without you had to do what you had to. Uh, was that a five game win streak? Five, five game, game win streak. Win streak? Yeah. yeah. So that that was cool. Once again, not necessarily the best thing in the world, but something for us to do. A reason and to go to the park. Like a five games easy. You know. Oh yeah. Like, five game, you can luck your way into a five game, for real. <clears throat> I lucked my way into a ten game the other day. Me too. I'm being honest. Me but too. But like I said, they're just giving us reasons to go to the park, which is all I asked. I was mm-hmm. like, y'all going to promote this park thing, give us a reason to go. And they've been doing that pretty consistently, which is cool with me. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to lie. Park? I missed out on both of them. Really? Yeah. Well, the 10 streak's still there. Oh, oh, I'm about to lock in. Yeah, the 10 streak's still there for the diamond. Or the barbecue box. I ain't get shit out of it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of the park events, they did do that next event, which uh, some people say they trolled us. I don't know. I think they might have just actually been that oblivious to what they were doing. Yeah, I they don't put think the, they were paying attention. Because they put emojis next to like all of them. So they're like, oh, Jim emoji. <laughs> it's a diamond. Hey, so I, I don't got- think they were like, I don't think they were trolling us on purpose, but it still is a bad look. Uh, but overall, 
a free a, a free ten box if you're good enough at the game. So that goes back to all the grindable content we've gotten multiple hidden gems we've got multiple 10 boxes we've got free diamonds overall they're, they're throwing content at us yeah i, I didn't it. pull shit in my 10 box we don't all got josh luck but hey i didn't get shit i enjoyed pulling it either oh but you pulled artist gilmore yeah that's crazy yet. we ain't there yet we, we could have worked our way there <laughs> oh my fault my fault yeah we could have worked our way up to the the big board. all right another minor news exhibitions have been pretty much useless these past few days i don't know when it happened but any cards you've locked in are not able to be put in exhibitions and if you're like me i pretty much anything i can sell i do sell so all my cards are locked in <laughs> so i've been able to do exhibition for days but they did say evan tweeted out from 2k that it was an issue that they made by a mistake and that they're going to fix it. They didn't give a timetable as to when it's going to get fixed. Will there be a make right? I highly doubt it, but one can hope. Maybe. Yeah, Two give me that. really do make rights. But give me that 3,000 MT I would have made over the last week. Yeah. That's all I have. You know you're getting 250 every single one. Every single time. So give <laughs> me my little 3,000 MT and we'll call it even. Yeah. All right. My favorite. This one's my favorite part. 2k dropping that band hammer on some of these folks Man. now i st i still see a lot of mt out there but where you could definitely see people getting banned is on those leaderboards you're starting yep. to see real names on those leaderboards again which Finally. is cool so i don't know if they got the mt buyers but they're starting the process because the, the pink diamonds they are still going for over a mil so there's still lots of mt out there so i don't know if they got them yet but maybe they're working towards it Man, it's a glorious day, man. The once they get those empty <laughs> buy enders out of here, man, I might be able to get a card or two, man. Yeah, I feel you. Hopefully they don't get me, bro. I'm I'm sitting here, you know what I'm saying? I got another account I don't know ready. How you made it out the first wave. Come on now, we here. I got good lawyers. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I don't know. Like I said, it's just something we've all been waiting for. And like I said, maybe the MT will start to slow down a little bit now that you know people are on their last. Like, you know, I had a million MT at one point, not no more, but you know, so it should slow down a little bit. Yes, sir. Now, I'm gonna bring up a topic that I forgot to put in here. It's just the midweek content. The 70s edition drop with the free 10 box. I have to flex a little bit. I got a little lucky. You know, I got my first pink diamond pole, Artist Gilmore. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna sound ungrateful. You can call it what you want. Of course, of all the pink diamonds in the game, I could have got. I got the inside big. That's just all I'm going to say. Man, I could have got any other pink diamond that's come out all year, and they gave me an inside center. See, you you was wrong with the game, bro. Always complaining. You could never for be real. grateful for a 2K game. Like, no, man. Damn, I pull, you pulled the I pink, diamond, read. You pull out the of pink diamond out of a free 10 box. Free. That's crazy work. No yeah, but chicken. I know. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before y'all do that, uh -huh. just know I ain't packing anything until at least February now. At least February, because I don't spend money on the game, so I, I only you. rip the free packs. Nah, nah. Jo Josh about to pull Drazen Petrovic and be like, "Man, they really gave me the worst pink diamond out the set." They hold <laughs> me. <laughs> they hold now, me. Kiwi, man, we aren't all blessed. No, I saw on Twitter earlier, this guy, he showed his squad update. He had Willis Reed, unsellable. Pete Maravich, unsellable. He had like five like playable diamonds that were unsellable from sets throughout the year. I was like, what is going on here? How the hell you get that? It's like, I do every agenda. What? Well, where's my, where are all my diamonds at? Shit, yeah, he's not built like work. that, I guess. I, I guess. All right, let's get into the second game of the pod. Last man standing. So we did this last week also. I'm going to pick a category. There's going to be 20 people on this list. Damn. You guys got to name people on this list and get as many as you can before missing. This one, I think, is a little bit easier. Like the first at least half of the list should be pretty easy. So you the are fumbling early. Yeah, facts. I don't show up with 
the category is the three point leaders and three pointers made that currently have cards in the game. So, so, gems so no, no hidden game. gems, no gems of the game. Uh, cards that are insets, live series, those cards. So they led the league in total three. No, like total. So like, so like, you know how LeBron has more points than anybody in NBA history. Oh, so total like that, that career, total three ever career. Made. Yes. All right. And you want to go first or second? I mean, if I go first, I'm gonna take the obvious pick. You know what I mean? All right, go go ahead. All right, give me Steph. All right, let's see how many y'all can get in order. Steph's number one. I'm not worried about order, but I'm going Ray Ray. That's Ray's number two. That's who I was going to go next. All right, see, now this is where I start to lose my mind a little bit. Um, <laughs> Don't overthink it. I feel like I'm definitely overthinking off rip. Um, Active, you said, right? Or no? No, no, they, they just have a card. Oh, just in the game, just in the game? In the game, yep. Um, Shot in the dark. Is James Harden in there? James Harden's number three. Uh, Dame. Dame's number four. <laughs> Let me get uh, Kyle Korver. Got to be in there, right? Mm, man. Kyle Korver is number six. So you got to skip number five. Uh, Vince Carter. Vince Carter's number eight. I'm trying to think who be who be knocking down them threes for real. Um, that got a card in the game. I'm taking shots in the dark. Give me Steve Novak. That's his Knicks fan showing. I don't even think he got a card, nope. big dog. <laughs> uh, nah, nah, Steve Novak. A wallet, nah. a wallet? <laughs> yeah, nah, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it? My full nah. big dog. All right, Judge Josh, how many can you ramble off? Uh, Bron. Bron is number seven. I was about to say, he's been in the league for 800 years. He on there somewhere. All right, uh, hold on, going through cards. Uh, He didn't shoot. He doesn't shoot a like, high volume, but Steve Nash. Um, uh, I know he didn't shoot no, a lot. I just no. know he was consistent. Oh, nah, Steve Nash not cheeks. on there. That's cheeks, damn. All right, so Chris Paul number. Uh, so number f- uh, five was Clay Thompson. Duh. Number oh. nine was Paul George. Number ten, Kyle Lowry. Number eleven, Paul Pierce. Number Whoa. twelve, KD. Number 13, Buddy Hill. Number 14, Chauncey Billups. 15, CJ McCollum. 16, Mike Conley. 17, Peja Stoyakovic. 18, Kyrie. 19, I'm disappointed with you, and Carmelo. That's on me, coach. And then 20, Chris Paul. You said Chris Paul, huh? I did at the very end. I'm not okay. going to lie. There's only a couple that I'm mad at because I didn't factor in Series 1 players. Me neither, bro. And that's what always sets. gets me. Yeah, I was only looking at sets. And I think out of the people you named, there was like Paul George, Melo, Chris Paul. Like, everybody else was Series 1. You got What's Clay. crazy is I thought of Chauncey Billups, and I was just like, nah. No way. I yeah, I would have would, never thought Chauncey Billups. I would have never thought Mike C-Mash. Conley. Mike Conley, I for sure wouldn't have thought was on there. Probably Kyle Lowry, I wouldn't have thought was on there. Yeah. I thought for sure Steve Nash was on there because he was knocked down, but I really he didn't shoot it too much. Yeah, nah, buddy, averaged like 15 points a game. Damn, I'm casual as fuck. <laughs> I gotta lock in, bro. I gotta take a All college right. course. So Ty Debo made a video talking about he thinks 2K is ruining the auction hall on purpose. I call cap, but I'm let y'all go first. I think so. I think it was unintentional, but when they made it to where your bids that you got outbid on pending, when we thought that that was just an update to the auction house, I could see where he's coming from there. Oh, that, yeah. Because when he made that, that's when, when he made the video, that's when that was at its, like, peak. Cards were selling for cheaper because once you get outbid on it, you can't get your MT back for another 20, 30 minutes, and it's like... How are you going to compete with MT sellers if you, the people who are actually playing the game can't, like, buy cards? So I know, I see where he's coming from there. I don't really agree with it. But when I thought that that was just an update, I was pissed. 
I was pissed. I was scared to sell my cards because I was like, what if my cards undersell because people don't have MT anymore? But I was also scared to buy cards because I was like, if I get outbid, then I'm screwed. I can't buy a card for like a day damn near. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was, it was real bad, man. That situation was bad. And I, I understand where you came from. But I mean, I also understand that with content creation, overreacting gets views. It clicks. Like So I, I just think, so with the thing that everything's non-auctionable and everything's unsellable. So I feel like the biggest rewards they've given us so far were the hidden gems cards. You know, they're they're giving us hidden gem cards at a big clip. Um, those cards aren't sellable anyways until the release and sets. So, you know, there's that. Uh, the ten boxes, you know, I guess you could make those sellable, but I mean, I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, for showdown, they give you options. Do you want the sellable? Do you want the unsellable? Or do you just want straight MT? Um. I don't know. I, I don't ever look at these rewards and like really complain that they're not sellable. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm kind of the same way. I don't be tripping on sellable, non-sellable like that. Maybe because I do be opening packs and I see so much MT come in and out and I'm flipping players all the time. I don't really keep players in my lineup for long. So I always have MT and if I want to get somebody else, I'll just sell people. So. I don't trip on it. I could see how for the casual players or the people who aren't spending as much on the game, it yeah, could no be a problem spent. for it's them. It's definitely more noticeable. Yeah, for sure. Because I haven't put money into the game since, like, opening night. And MT is not easy to come by. Like, Nah, not at all. I'm debating if I want to lock in this set for a Diamond Hidden Gem, the one that came out today. And I'm like, mm, that locks up all my MT. And MT is so tough to come by. Is that a good decision? But I mean, I, I don't All right. know, man. So, so to play devil's advocate, yes, it's tougher to make MT for no money spent players. But if we want to go back to last year, how easy was it? So the best tier was diamonds. Let's say, how easy was it to get a team full of, a full team of amethyst cards last year? It was uh, it was tough because MT MT came in like quicker. Like, you made a lot more MT, but, like, I'm pretty sure, what, Amethyst were, like, 90-something K? 100-something K? Yeah, so so let's just, like, not even including Tony Parker and Michael Adams, because most people don't like to run them. There's Amethyst cards better than them. Let's call it what it is. Yeah. But there's a, a Diamond Tim Duncan. There was a Diamond Seekly that was not very hard of a grind at all. There's been, what has there been, four hidden gems so far? Hmm. Mm. D Rose, then that Dunktober this, event. Dunktober's this showdown. The showdown one showdown. going on right now, so yeah. I think three. Three. Unless you can get multiple diamonds from the showdown event. I don't know if it's repeatable. We'll have to see. That I have no clue. But yeah, so that's right there. That that's uh, you might you, it depends on your luck with the hidden gems. But Yeah, if you're getting misses on that, it's real it's real ugly out here for you, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like it's easier to get better cards this year than it was last year because last year season one we were struggling thanks whereas like obviously nobody's running around with braun and you know kareem and them boys but you know diamonds most people don't have pink diamonds so diamonds are really low-key like the best cards you can get almost anyways mm -hmm. and they're throwing them at us pretty fast that's just my opinion Take that for what it for, for what you feel like. Uh, <laughs> this guy's right. crazy. Stealth stealth mode packs. I didn't see how they were going to be on the top. Paul jo uh, Paul George, but D Rob. I don't think D Rob's a better card per se, but he's more needed right now. Yeah, D Rob. I think is so much better than the next best center. Exactly. As opposed to Paul George is better than the next, we'll say shooting guard, because you're probably running him as shooting guard. If I were to guess. Who was the best shooting guard before Paul George? Um, a good question. Scotty? Yeah. Scotty. Uh, 
As far as pink diamonds go, Chris Mullins a pink diamond. You could run T Mac at the two, but like. Oh yeah, you could run oh, yeah. T Mac at the two. Yeah, that's probably. I mean, Paul George to T Mac. Yeah, Paul George is gonna be a lot better. But I think the gap between Paul George and T Mac is smaller than the gap between D Rob and, I guess Kareem. Because I think I said it last week where you really gotta pick with these bigs. If you're yeah. gonna have a shooter out there, they're gonna get bodied in the paint. And if you're gonna have a big body in the paint, they're gonna they can't stretch the floor. D Rob's mm-hmm. the first one that can do it all. Yep. So so is he like I said, is he better than Paul George? No, I don't think so. But he's definitely by far the best center in the game. Yeah, I think what he's else? the most effective card in the game right now because he could space the floor like that. Like exactly. he changes the whole dynamic of how people run their offense now. You could play inside, you could stretch the floor. Defensively he's good. So he's really the first card we're seeing that not he has no weaknesses, but he's covering all areas of play. I know in years past that D Rob kinda got bullied on rebounds, but I don't know how that's gonna play out this year. Like in years past, they made him like kinda weak on rebounding. Not statistically, but like actually getting the rebounds. So maybe maybe there's that this year. I don't know. We'll have to see it. I haven't run into him yet. I haven't been really playing that much today, but I mean the card looks incredible. How much is he? Even going Devin for? Booker, like Devin and Booker. By the mill. Like, yeah, then don't. you got then you got D Book, a six foot six point guard with that skill set. I think D Book's probably the best point guard in the game. Yeah, it has to be. It may be Ja, just because D Book's not gonna finish at the rim the same way Ja does. Eighty driving dunk. Yeah, but I mean, I guess if you want a three hunt, D Book is the greatest card in the game right now. Cause D Book's just got such a great like. He's got great movement, great shooting, like his fades always immaculate. Like his card's gonna be so nice, man. I wish I just need a cool Millie. That's all. <laughs> Some light. And I'm sitting on 31k, <laughs> so we close. And then we got the diamond Michael Porter Jr., six foot ten small forward. Crazy good jumper. Crazy good jumper, man. I think this I think. When I saw the set, I wasn't that excited about it, but I think this set's gonna be—it's gonna turn out good, man. I really do. Are there any sleeper cards in here that I don't know about? Um, I mean, Albert King looks solid for a amethyst shooting guard. I mean, 82 three ball, 85 dunk, 87 perimeter, 87 steal. Decent badges. He's—he looks good. Um, I mean. For budget players, Derek White. I mean, <laughs> Larry Keen is better in his stats, I guess. I don't know. There's not there's not a whole lot of sleeper cards, I don't think. But all in all, the set's better than I thought it was originally going to be. So I'll take it. You a fan of Trey Young too, right? You rocking with him, bro? That's your guy? Uh, You know what? <laughs> hey, I got Trey Young. We Wait, let, me, let, me, let me check something real quick. We're going to let it rock and see Trey what Young, 94 pass accuracy? Mmm. Hey, Filthy. Bet you, I, bet you I throw Filthy. Them steamers with them. <laughs> steamers. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the latest news, the new showdown event that dropped today through the weekend. I, I, I've been seeing lots and lots and lots of hate on Twitter. And like, I don't, I don't understand it. I get, we've all been wanting the, you know, the mini games after games to come back permanently, but that doesn't mean when they give it back to us for a little bit, we bitch about it. That's just my take. Like, yes, do I want it? No, do I want it back a hundred percent? But you know, that doesn't mean like, that'd be like, I don't know. What's a good example. No, I don't got a good example. I'm not going to lie to you. But <laughs> but we got another Hidden Gems card in the promo, too, which I think saves it. It's not just, you know, there's deluxe packs in there, and it's not just a mini game. There's a Hidden Gem in there, too. So overall, I say W promo for the weekend. Hey, man, I'm going to be playing the fuck out of Showdown. Just Facts. Because. The door game, who knows what you're going to get. These pieces for the diamond hidden gym get three pieces i haven't played today 
I've heard people have gotten all three pieces in like five games. I've also heard people play six, seven games and never even see the piece. So, you know, RNG can be a little iffy, but I mean, one thing that I always used to complain about is give us something to play the game for. And these last couple weekends are giving us events that make me want to hop on the game and grind. So it, that's all I ask for. And I wouldn't even say just weekends. I feel like there's almost something to do daily. Yeah. Almost. I think that the content has been really good lately. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we can nitpick all day if we really wanted to because it's not going to be perfect. But people got to, you know, you got to enjoy the things that they give you. Like, yeah, I like you don't got to just complain about the 10 packs and stuff. It's like it's you could sell the badges. You could sell the shoes like don't expect to get anything. And it's like y'all are just sitting here waiting for a reason to be mad, bro. Facts, <laughs> like, facts, bro. Like, They're just miserable. Like, Just enjoy it. Just enjoy the game. Like and if you don't enjoy the game, then just that's cool. Go play that new Dragon Ball Z game or something. That's cool. Hey, I ain't tripping. Just drop, man. Yeah, undis what's it called? Undisputed? Yep. Go go play some Undisputed, bro. But like, if you don't play this game, just to not enjoy it. And like last year, I would say like, you know, you could say like, I'm only playing this because it's the only NBA game. I get that. And you had the right to complain about last year. But this year, I really don't think there's really a right to complain. Besides the fact that last year was so bad. <laughs> nah, facts, bro. I keep. I feel like I say this every pod. This year is really not that bad, bro. It's not bad at all. I've been having so much fun on this game. I think there's good grindable content. It's just every year we know how the community is. They're gonna complain about something. It's like, bro, just shut up. Like, either you gonna play the game or you not, bro. If it's that bad, don't play the shit. Yeah, and we haven't even got to like any of the good parts. Like, we haven't got to none of the holiday promos, the All Star Weekend promos, Facts. the playoff promos. This is all stuff they're just giving us, like, just to, like, we haven't even got the NBA coming back yet. There's probably going to be an NBA's back promo. Man. But I'm excited. Game. I'm really excited for season two. I'm not going to lie. I don't think a single season last year was I excited to go into. Like, I'm just kind of like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> New season. What's up, guys? Now I'm like, man. We got six days, and I'm counting down the days till this new season drops because I'm ready to see what they do. Because stuff like this, this door game, I don't want to get my hopes up, but what if they do bring this stuff back and, like, make it permanent? It's possible. They show you. They, they can put it in the game. It's coded into the game. Just like a lot of people were complaining they want Clutch Time Online back. It, Clutch Time Offline's in the game. It's not impossible and I think 2K has done a way better job this year of listening to the community and taking the feedback and making something out of it, which I don't think yep. they did very much at all last year. So Perhaps. I think they're definitely working in the right direction, and it's only going to get better from here. Facts. All right, so this, this is going to be, I think, one of the more fun conversations we're about to have right here, all right? I got some stuff to say about Hidden Gems cards. Okay. Mm. So first, the first question for you guys: When do you think they're gonna start adding more? Do you think it's gonna be a seasonal thing? Season two, more gonna come in. Season three, more gonna come in. Because there's only one, as of now, there's one dark matter in the game. That's not gonna stick. I think it'll be like season three or four when more come in because there's so maybe even later than that. Like maybe five. I could see what they have here lasting us till at least All Star. Yeah, but I think they might start to slowly trickle in a couple here and there every season, I think. I mean, I'm here for them adding more cards. The more cards, the better, in my opinion. But so here, here's, here's the bigger talking point here, okay? Me and my boy Kiwi were in Discord earlier he made a very valid point he said who do you think is gonna be level 40 this year and i said i don't know you know i'm not sure honestly and he was like you know they're gonna be in the hidden gems right and i was like are they though nah do you guys remember at the beginning of the season 
Michael Adams was in the hidden gem section of the collection. Yeah. So that means more than likely all the rewards cards for season two as well as the level 40 are in that set. Yeah, we looking at them. Yep. Now you got me sitting here trying to figure out who's going to be level 40. And that's probably includes the holiday promos are probably in here. The all that is in here. Hey man, give us KD for next season. That that's just something for y'all to think about. Hmm. Like I never even thought about it like theory. that. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought about it like that. And now you got me. Now my head's spinning. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> now I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Try to figure out who a lot, everybody is. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of pink diamond cards in here. A hey, level forty next season is Nick's legend, Carl Anthony Towns. Hey. Th- that's it. actually that's what Kiwi said. Hey, Hell man, yeah. he just he just got traded, man. Two K. I, I was thinking know. more like AD, but I'm cool with Cat. If they made an AD, shh, it's a problem, man. It's a problem. I'm seeing a lot of pink diamonds here. That I'm like, oh, I hope he's a level forty. And then there's some that if you really take a look at them, like people will be like, I don't want that as level forty. But if you really look at the cards. Like Shit, Michael, Fi- like like Rudy Michael Finley, there, baby. Like Michael Finley. The only issue with his, he's small for a shooting guard, like like uh, T Mac is. But his Michael Finley card is him, or who who's a big name? They can do like a Ron Artest. That'd be fire. Or who's someone that give us that wouldn't break the bank? Like a Monte Ellis. That Monte Ellis card is fire. Now another thing that Kiwi mentioned. As we stand now, there's not that many oversized point guards in these sets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's the Ben Simmons and there's two pennies and two magics. Well Melo's like six foot seven. Yeah. Um there's no unless they switch a the position on the card when it releases, there's no out of position point guards. Um, there's not that many players that aren't traditionally point guards that, you know, like that can play point guard. There's only a few of those. So with that being said, small guards might actually be able to play for a while this year. Especially with how OP layups and dunks are. Yeah. Chris Paul layups are actually crazy right now. Yeah. Especially with this real player percentage, man. Point guards might be about like good all year for real but i like that though because i feel like small guards were so irrelevant last year you could not run a small guard last year like as soon as big guards came out that were able to shoot it was clipped it was a big man yep. game last mm-hmm. year this year you could run smaller guards like i'd be out here running james harden you know what i'm saying like bro come on yeah i run chris paul yeah chris paul comes off the bench i got kirk heinrich like I'm running hella small guards, and I think they're going to run for a while, just based off how the game plays. So, yeah, Hidden Gems kind of tells us, like, the direction the game's going in, and I like that. It gives me some kind of, like, some optimism a little bit. But that's all I got on the Hidden Gems. Is there anything else y'all want to mention before we get into the last game? I just want to say last week I said this was the best my team we're going to have in a long time. My projection st- staying true, you feel me? Because I wasn't, I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm just popping my shit. <laughs> no, I wasn't around, you know, in the older my teams. So I can't prime. say in the prime, you know, quote unquote. But it's the la- it's the best in the last three years. <laughs> Facts. Facts. By far. By far. <laughs> yeah. All right. So last game, we got a blind ranking for y'all. All right. The category, right? yeah, you guys are on the team. The category is pink diamond hidden gems cards. 
Okay. All right. So since you guys might not be unfamiliar, do you want me to read off some of the stats as I go? Nah, All right. fuck it. Nah, nah. 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 Okay. Wanna, I, I like it. We don't want to go in All blind. Right. We're going to start off hot. Run our test. Hmm. That seems like a cool three to me. I went three off rip as well. That's what yeah. I thought. You don't want to go too high or too low early in the... Yeah. Right. All right. Two, Michael Finley. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't want me to read off some stats for y'all? Nah. Y'all want to see? I'll pull it up. I'm looking at him. Hmm. I could be cool with four. I'm cool with that too. Low key, I was going to say five, but we could go four. He looks like he's a beast on offense, but he don't have that much defense. All right. Three, Michael Red. Mm, uh, stats wise I don't even need to see his stats I feel like he's never actually good in the game He, I'm so fine with 5 Yeah, but I don't I don't like that we saved 1 and 2 for the end <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty tough that's tough but at the same time I can't imagine Michael Red being that good he's just never at least I in was, my experience he can't be I 1 was, or 2 I was surprised Ron Artest being 3 if I'm being honest I thought you were going to come with some heavy hitters not Michael Red. Number four, Monte Ellis. Fuck, he gotta be too. Yeah, he gotta be. Oh, it's chalky. Yeah, we're cooked. All right. You on here, you're number one? Oh, he's probably about to be fucking. All right. Let's, 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 start, yeah, let's, start let's start from the bottom. Let's start from the bottom. At number five, at number five Michael Rand. Mm -hmm. At number four, Michael Finley. Mm -hmm. At number three, Ron Artest. At number two, Monte Ellis. I at number one, way. Tyler Hero. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. Monte Ellis, I don't feel bad about where we put him. I'm looking at his stats. He's no, Monte elite, Ellis bro. is like that. He's elite, bro. 90 perimeter, 94 steel, even a 85 in tier, 80 block. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm going to see what Tyler Hero is talking about. Ooh. All right, so, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> well... He, <laughs> All right, that's your go. Hey man, All right. we we living with it. Anything else y'all want to talk about before we wrap up? You kind of did us dirty there. Yeah, you ain't got a single big name or nothing, yeah, man. Not what kind of game that is list. that, man? I, I, Ron, I hey, I don't Ron make Artest, the rules. I just play by. Them. I thought Ron Artest was you a big name. You literally made the rules. What do you mean you don't make oh, the yeah. rules? <laughs> oh, yeah, you right. You right. Quite literally, who <laughs> else made the rules? Yeah, Ron Artest was the biggest name, but when you come out with a name like Ron Artest, I'm like, oh, he coming yeah, out that, hot. That, that's the trap. You thought, you, you thought no there's no way. No one ever gonna... says the biggest name first. That's weird. Chalk it up to the game. Damn. So let them know how trash your list was in the comment section down below. <laughs> hey, bro, if you swap. Uh, if you swap Ron Tyler Artest Hero and Ron Artest, you got a valid it's a list. It's a solid list. Yeah, low key. It's a, it happens, bro. We just sold on the first one. It's, it's Had to cool, adjust. Man. It's cool. Monte Ellis is a cool, smooth little number two, man. Yeah, he, he's we're cool. just talking about small point guards could be elite this year, man. I mean, his diamond played for a little bit. It, it was on some squads. Yeah. So you know, yeah. it's not as bad as y'all think, man. All right, before we wrap up, we are going to try to get next week's episode to you guys early because it's going to be our season recap episode. Oh, We're going to do season, season awards, uh, season predictions, uh, all that shit like that. So we're going to try and drop that on Thursday. I'm going to try my best to drop it on Thursday before the season comes out. But well, don't hold me to that, all right? We're going to try. And it's prob if it does drop, it might be after they announce just know we're recording it before they tell us who the players are going to be so our predictions most likely won't be right so don't be on our heads because well, i mean i could drop it i could drop it early thursday i could drop it like 7 a.m on thursday well there you go all right because i was gonna say i don't want it to come out at four and at three o'clock they actually drop like oh <laughs> that was looking stupid <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh these guys don't know shit all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all making it all the way through. This is Triple Threat Podcast. As always, y'all be safe. Peace. 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 I've been.